Okay, okay now look up at me. I need to go to work. <laughs> Wait. Uh, <laughs> you gotta get. Okay, so what are you doing? I'm building a balsa kit airplane, probably 200, 300 pieces, most of it custom cut. It's time for Dominic. Now I'm beginning to do the wings. I've already done the tails. They came out pretty good. Good job. There's your vertical stab, horizontal stab, and elevator. That works. Now I know why I buy um, ready to fly or almost ready to fly because all you have to do is put a battery in it, maybe a couple, run a wire here or there. This is technical, but when I'm done, it'll be beautiful. This is my build of the T Craft. It's about a 56 inch wingspan, I think is what they consider it. So almost six foot wingspan. I was given this kit by a friend. It had been sitting in an old storage room of his for probably 15, 20 years. He gave it to me. Some of the, there was like two or three pieces glued together. When I got it, I had no plans. So I had to figure out what to do about that. So I went on the internet and I checked out Great Plains website and they had the plans for it. I'll show you that over here. The only problem was, see there, you start out, you scroll through the entire manual and PDF, shows you how to build each individual part. Problem was, I was missing a lot of stuff out of the fuselage. They had already, someone had put together the fuselage before I got to it. So I had to figure out how to build that entire fuselage from scratch. And um, I did it by zooming into plans on the computer and every bit of that fuselage is all home built except for this one piece in here. A couple of the dowel rods were left, but all the sides, bottoms, I had to buy all this stuff at Michael's in the hobby shop. The entire tail I had to put together myself. I think the firewall was still in my kit. And how I did it, well, some of the stencils were still left in the box. This is one of the stencils. This piece, which is a fuselage, fuselage side piece is missing. You can see it. It's that piece right there is where it went. It had been popped out, so I just took a pencil, carved it onto a new piece of balsa wood, cut it out by hand. Tried to order all these pieces that were missing, but the hobby shop could not get them said that the parts we, we kept trying and trying it said no parts matching i contacted great plains about it and they said that um they wanted eight dollars shipping and it was twenty dollars for the plans and me being a tight wad, i didn't want to do that like i said i couldn't get a lot of these parts due to the fact that the, they just weren't coming up whenever we tried to order from the hobby shop so i managed to cut out everything i needed and i did figure out another trick when I was trying to measure out the different distances, I could zoom my PDF in and it was real close to being correct on the, on the scale. But when I zoomed this in, I was losing about an eighth of an inch every six inches or so. So I come up with my own little theory on how to fix that. I made my own tape measure out of those. Then whenever I needed to go up, and figure out okay I need to put this block for the aileron this piece of wood this far apart and this far apart me being a tight wad not wanting to pay 20 bucks for a new set of plans I just come up with this tape measure right here it's not a true tape measure but I can measure my parts on the screen then come down onto the floor and say okay that aileron part needed to be three inches from the other one and what I would do is measure it with a real tape measure and say okay one and three quarters apart one and three quarters apart, whatever I needed it's pretty pretty cheap way of getting out but hey I'm gonna start calling my um my my own collection of airplanes tight wide airlines will be what I call it it's gonna be a nice little build should fly good I'm gonna go electric it calls for a um, 20 to 35 series gas or glow engine. I'm gonna end up using electric just cause it's a lot easier. 
I don't have to work with engines that way. Everything else I've got is electric. My other five planes, I'm gonna put a G32, which is an equivalent to a 32 Glow from Turnigy on it. it. Should be fun. I've got everything built that I can build now. Probably gonna cover it. All I gotta do now is cover it. Probably gonna cover it in orange or orange and white. And it looks a lot like my Piper Cub, but a little bit different. And it's got ailerons on it, so that's gonna make it even more fun to fly. I'll be able to do some rolls and a little bit more um, nice maneuvers, more scale maneuvers and aerobatics with it. But it was a time building that thing without those plans, but hey, I'm a tightwad. That's what I do.